The vapor canopy probably looked like waterfalls when it fell out the sky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, what, what cloud you're, you're talking about. But the clouds we see in the sky today were not known during the vapor canopy world. As a matter of fact, the book of Genesis says that it never rained. In the entire pre-flood world, they never saw rain. Didn't know what it was. This is why, right after the great flood, in the biblical version of the great flood, the first thing Noah sees is a rainbow. That prismatic effect would have never happened in a vapor canopy, but it happened after the vapor canopy was gone and the sun, and the sun appeared. So... There is a lot of historical value in the Genesis Old Testament narrative. There is, 100%. Does it mean I'm a Christian? Absolutely not. Does it mean I believe everything in the, in the Bible? Absolutely not. Not after spending half a lifetime uncovering all the redacted Jewish versions of events that never happened? No. Hell no. Ancient Amorite holy books were rewritten by the Jews when the Jews got them almost for free after the Israelites took the after the Assyrians took the Israelites into captivity. The Jews went in and took everything else. The few Israelites that were left could not defend their libraries, couldn't defend their temples. The Assyrians didn't care. They they enslaved the Israelite population and took them. They needed they needed a buffer zone on their northern frontier and they needed to populate it with subjects to keep them some distance between them and the enemy. So the Assyrians came and got, got the ten tribes of Israel from Aram and Bashan and Ugarit and uh, all the whole, the whole Israelite area which was north of Judah. And they took them on and deported them. Then the Jews came in from Judah and took all their libraries, took all their writings, rewrote them, put Jewish names and replaced the old uh, 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 Emer, uh, Israelite. You gotta understand, the term Israelite isn't historical, all right? I say that as a frame of reference so you'll understand basically the geographical area I'm talking about. These people were Carians. These people were Phoenicians, uh, Syrians, Arameans, Arameans, later in history referred to as, as Israelites, but they were Amuru. They were the actual descendants of the dynasties that were ruling Sumer and Babylon and Akkad and Rashamra and Ugarit. They were called the Hyksos and they were hated by the Egyptians. Uh, these people, um, these people were very mysterious, very mysterious, and they were a literary people, geniuses. They were responsible for many of the cuneiform texts found throughout the Near East. But when their civilization finally collapsed, it's, it was it became known in history as the Lost Ten Tribes of Israel. Never, never were the Jews a part of that culture. But the Jews wrote themselves into that culture because of their historical prestige and the fact that nobody could, could can counter the uh, uh, claims because the actual people themselves had been enslaved by the Assyrians and then they had escaped that enslavement into Europe. This is well, this is well known. Even the Apocrypha mentions the mass migrations of the of the Israelite tribes away from Assyria into Europe. Uh, it's all it's all recorded.